Hey y'all and welcome to Monarch's Market and welcome to my stunning easy to make farmhouse DIYs. I am so excited about today's video because I have a massive Timu haul for you and then I'm going to make some DIYs from that haul. So let me show you what I received. I'm not going to go into detail with every tiny little thing because this was a huge haul and it would literally take an hour, hour and a half to show you everything I got. But I do want to show you a few things. Look at this lace. It is absolutely gorgeous. This roll was huge, way bigger than my hand. And look at this, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? These cute little doilies were gorgeous. And look at these little feet. I bought probably 20 packs of those and there's two in each pack because you guys know how much I love my little feet. Look at those doilies. I love them so, so much. Now that right there is a little thing that you make wood grain out of. I do a ton of work with epoxy that I never really put a lot on my channel about and these come in so handy with that. Now, these are just little tassels for keychains, and look at all of these stunning little pieces that I can use for all kind of stuff. Look at this. This is a ring. This is a man's ring. I bought a size 12 because that's my husband's size, and I was absolutely blown away at the quality of that ring. Now, these are humongous one-inch half beads, and they are gorgeous. I bought several different half bead sets from that size all the way down. This is a beautiful, beautiful tablecloth that I will show you in another video. But I want you to look at these beautiful covers, pillow covers for Easter. Now, obviously, Easter's over, but I'm going to put them away for next either Easter. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm so in love with those. Look at this. I love it. You guys know I do chalk couture, so I had to try out Timu's stencils. And their greenery literally blew me away. Look at how full and how beautiful this is. I got so much greenery from them. It covered probably, a, I would say about an 8x8 eight eight area, size area on my floor when I laid it all out to let it relax, you know, like took it out of the plastic to let it relax. But look at this. This is so doggone pretty. Look at this. It's a canvas. It says, today I choose faith, hope, love, and all of the other things. Now, these are really big wood rounds that comes six in a pack. And look at that gorgeous Mandela cutout. Now, the B, I'm going to use that today in one of my DIYs. But look at all of these little embellishments. Like, there are so many. And I cannot wait over the next few months to show you all of the things that I got and use in different videos that will be coming up. Look at that. Is that not beautiful ribbon? All of the ribbon that I'm showing you today, I'm showing it to you because I'm going to use it in my video today. Now, I have a pair of these, but you can always use an extra pair. So I went ahead and ordered them, and I have to say, these, for the price, worked as good as the ones that I paid three times as much for. So I highly recommend these little shears. These are just extra blades for that. I was super duper happy with it whenever I got it. I honestly thought the quality would be junk, but it is by far not junk at all. Now, look at this. I was so excited about this. I could not wait to show you. This is one of the things I ordered from Timu. Look at the price, y'all. It's crazy. I saw this at, I think it was Hobby Lobby, $89. $89 for the exact same one. The wood is so thick and so, like, just amazing quality. It was very easy to put together and solid. I mean, it was just as solid as a rock when I got it done. And look at how gorgeous that thing is. Is that not absolutely stunning? I love everything about this piece. I love that it's farmhouse, shabby chic, French country, like all of that. You know, I didn't have to distress anything. 
and it is distressed to my liking and it is absolutely beautiful and it goes perfectly with the picture that I made a couple of videos ago and with some other little planners that I made a few weeks ago. I mean, just look at it all together whenever I zoom out a little bit. It is just gorgeous. And I can't, the quality, like I can't get over the quality. I was blown away because it is, it is the exact same quality that you would get at Hobby Lobby. Exact same. And I love it. Now, let's get into DIY number one, and I am going to use several things from this haul today for my first DIY. This is the Wood Rounds from Timu, and they are really, really, really nice. I'm going to take my antique wax, and I am going to give it a really, really good coat. I'm going to paint all over, and once I get it painted on there, you know the drill, you take a little baby wipe and you wipe it back down. Now, I have to say, for the price, I was blown away with these because the quality is much better than the wood rounds that you can get from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Now, I'm going to take my White Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to give it a coat of that. Now, I didn't realize that my brown i didn't let it dry so it kind of all mixed together and got kind of muddy so i let it dry for real and then i put another coat of the white waverly chalk paint just a distressed coat on the top of it and then it brightened it up to my liking so that's why i did it twice now look at this gorgeous gorgeous transfer i was very very skeptical because i am a designer with Chalk Couture. I am very much in love with Chalk Couture products, and I honestly didn't think that this would even come close. Now, this is Chalk Couture paste. I did not order any paste from Timu, but this is my Chalk Couture paste, but I wanted to see before I wasted my money on a bunch of them exactly how it would turn out, and y'all, look at this. This thing was stunning when I was done. Look at that. And I must say the cleanup for these stencils were so stinking easy. Now that is one thing I have to say. They were much, much easier to clean than the Chalk Couture. Usually when you use black with Chalk Couture, you have to scrub and scrub and scrub. And the black on this almost rinsed right off. Now I did have to scrub it a little bit, but nothing compared to what I'm used to. Now look, I'm gonna show you all this greenery. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? There's a bunch of different wreaths and things in there, but I wanted to show you the quality. This is just one swag. Now they are held together by these little, I'm not sure what that is, like a little plastic piece. And it's actually two different swags that are very full themselves, all by themselves. And they twisted them together to make this gorgeous long six foot long swag and look at the price it is nuts that you can get something this thick and this full and this beautiful for that tiny of a price so i highly 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 and i mean that with all my heart recommend the floral from timu because the quality is unbeatable it is again the same quality that you would find in a hobby lobby for three or four times the price now look at all of this ribbon y'all every bit of this ribbon came from my timu haul today and it just gets prettier and prettier and i love it it's so farmhouse so french country so shabby chic and again like i said last week so brenda and i just am in love with all of these different ribbons that I picked up. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to dovetail all of the pieces that I cut. And I'm just gonna do a little messy bow. I didn't wanna get into anything real fancy because my husband is, like I've mentioned, rebuilding my shop and everything I own is in buckets and I have no idea where my bow maker is. And y'all know I can't make a bow worth flip, so <laughs> I wasn't even going to chance it. Now I'm going to glue down that bow 
and I'm going to add some of this gorgeous greenery to it. And this picture just comes to life. Between the bow and the greenery, it just, I don't know, it's stunning. That Like stunning was the only word I could think. Now this is just an old flower from the Dollar Tree that I pulled off of something that I've had forever and ever just to be able to use on the middle of my bow. And I was only going to use the one set of greenery, but it was just so pretty together. Like I didn't want to separate it. It was just too pretty. So I went back in with the darker greenery and I put some on each side of the bow. And then now all I needed was a hanger for my picture. So I took some beads that I got from my Timu haul and I painted them with the Waverly Antique Wax. Now, after I got them painted, I took this white chalk paint and I just sort of dabbed and daubed and gobbed it on or whatever you want to call it until it gave it this just sort of old rustic weathered look. And that's how I made my beaded hanger. And I actually love the way this beaded hanger turned out. It gave me an idea to do my neck or my third DIY. I started to say my next, but it's not my next. And I think you're going to love, actually, I think you're going to love all three of my DIYs today. I know I do. So here I just turned it over to try to get my spacing right before I glued it on. And once I got it right, I just flipped it over, glued it on with a little bit of hot glue. And then I did place the tape back down and it sort of just all melts together and becomes one. And look at the way this turned out with 100% Timu items, 100% Timu items, even the, the twine that I used on my beaded hanger that came with my beads. It was just like a little rolled up set of, you know, a little bit of twine that came with it. But this is 100% other than the paint, of course. 100% Timu, and I love it. I think it is just absolutely stunning. And you will hear me say that word a lot today. That's why I named my video what I named it today, because everything is just so beautiful. Now, let's get into DIY number two, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. It is so freaking cute. Now, this you can get from the Dollar Tree all day long. We have them at my Dollar Tree. I've had them for years. And it's a nice sized plaque. So I wanted to use some of these cute little beads. It's actually not beads, they are knobs. And they come with the little screws and everything. So if you needed them on a drawer or whatever, that's what they're made for and they would be perfect for that. But y'all know me, I turn everything into feet <laughs> for something. And these were just perfect. Now they're not very tall. But I thought it made this cute because I'm trying to make like this sort of shabby chic Moroccan or boho maybe. Boho is probably a better term for what I'm trying to make. So once I got my antique wax on, I'm going to go in with my white Waverly chalk paint and just distress it down and give it a good distressed coat so I can go in with another little transfer that I got from Timu. But now this right here is actually from the Dollar Tree. I got some of this burlap the other day and I was quite shocked at how large it was because I've never seen it at my my store before. And I grabbed, I only grabbed two and once I opened it and seen how big it was and seen the quality was so good, I wish I would have grabbed more. So I will be on the lookout for some of this. But that burlap was beautiful. So I cut it down to size the way I wanted it. And then I just pulled off all the way around two or three strings to sort of shred it and fray it to just give it a little cuteness. And then I go in and look at that, y'all. Is that not beautiful? I think Moroccan when I see this, but boho shabby chic is like the term that everybody's using now. So we'll say Moroccan boho shabby chic because it is all of the above, and it turned out gorgeous. Now, when you are using these transfers on anything that is made out of fabric, you want to use ink instead of paste, and that's what I did. But then you have to heat set it so that it will remain good. 
So what all I did, look at that, y'all. Look at that. It turned out so pretty. And again, washed up perfectly, super duper easy. I'm going to put it back in and I can use it over and over and over. But look at how gorgeous this turned out. It turned out exactly like I had it in my head. And literally this whole piece came together exactly how I imagined it. Now, if you craft, you know, it doesn't always work like that. So I'm going to take Mod Podge. I'm going to Mod Podge it on the bottom. And then I'm going to add a really nice coat of Mod Podge on the top. And just give it a good seal. But look at that, y'all. Is that not just stunning? There's that word again. Yes, I know. But like I said, that's why I named my video what I named it. Because it is exactly what I called it. Stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Let me know down in the comments what you think about my second DIY and how it turned out. I know, again, like I said, it's not very tall. But is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Y'all, I'm so in love with this piece. I love it. It's so stinking cute. And I love the design of the wood. Like, love it. And like I said, I can get these at my Dollar Tree all day long. And I bought me a ton of those little feet from Timu because the price was crazy good. And that burlap, you can get like, I mean, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Anybody who thinks that ain't beautiful needs to find another channel. <laughs> y'all i'm teasing now let's get into diy number three <laughs> i'm gonna use some more of these beads i shouldn't have said that i'm gonna get so much flack about that that i got from timu i am going to color them with my antique wax <laughs> oh y'all forgive me for that one i was honestly just teasing i know somebody's gonna be nasty about that but it was just a joke anyway after I got them done in that antique wax, wiped them down, I did the same thing that I did for the hanger on my first DIY, and I just dobbed a bunch of that white paint on there and set it aside, let it dry. No, I actually think I took my, my heat gun and dried them down. Now I'm going to take some more of those beads that I got from Timu, and I'm going to paint them brown, but when I picked up my little um paintbrush it still had a bunch of white paint in it and it actually gave it this really cool creamy light brown color i was not going for that color but i am so stinking tickled that that's the color i got and i just like i said i had white paint on that paintbrush and dabbed it in a little bit of that antique wax and this is the color that i got and oh my heavens it was the absolute perfect color for this beaded garland. Now, if you've ever watched my channel, you know that I love me some beaded garland, but it's been a while since I made one because I got beaded garland happy there for a while and I was making them all the time. So whenever I got these beads from Timu at such a good price, I figured I would make a beaded garland. And I love the way this turned out. I just painted my little beads. I did three white, one brown, three white, one brown, and did that all the way down. And then I just made a simple little tassel for both ends of my beaded hanger. And that was all I did to this. Now, to make a, a tassel, a lot of people say they struggle with it. I like to take the twine from the Dollar Tree. Now, the only bad thing about this twine is that it is not super good quality. Now, you can buy the little round rolls that's a lot better quality from this. This you get in the automotive section, and it's very rough, very rough cut. But I like that because it's so antique looking and farmhousey and just shabby. Now, that's where the shabby from Shabby Chic comes in at. But anyway, what you do whenever you're trying to make a tassel, I'm going to slow it down and show you just a little bit. You wrap it around your hand or anything else you want to use. Now, I wrapped it 15 times, and then I let, left it open, and I took the little piece of twine that I had hanging off of the end of that beaded garland, wrapped it through there, and I tied that in a knot, right? Once I got that tied in a knot, I'm going to pull 
all of my twine down at the other end and I'm gonna cut it with my scissors. Then I'm gonna take another little piece of twine and I'm gonna come down about a half an inch and I'm going to tie it in a knot and make myself a little head, the little head of your tassel. That's all you do to make it. You just tie that in a knot and then bring all of that down and line it all up together and take your scissors and give it a good little haircut make sure it's all even and that's all there is to making a tassel and that's all there was to making this stunning beautiful beaded garland look at that it does not get any more farmhouse farmhouse and country than that now that's some shabby chic right there y'all i just love it now I, normally i would try to tame my tassels a little more and how you can do that is just dip them down in water dip them down in a little cup of water and straighten them out you know squeeze the water out obviously straighten them out and they will dry perfectly but i just kind of fell in love with the way they looked all kind of everywhere like that now let me show you my final reveal of everything that i made with my timu haul y'all look at all of these timu items oh the beads the gorgeous fabric lord have mercy not fabric ribbon i'm getting so ahead of myself y'all timu is always 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 free shipping they always have free returns within 90 days they always have a ton of coupons and their prices are ridiculously low and the quality is super duper high this is my second time working with them i have not been disappointed in anything that i have gotten from them they always have the most amazing sales right now they're having a 30 percent off sale and if you use coupons that are stackable with that you can save up to 90 percent on different things so go to the links that i will have down in my description box definitely go shopping on timu and buy you some things to make these gorgeous diys with or make your own DIYs. You will not be disappointed when you get your items. And they came so stinking fast. Literally from the day I ordered them to the day they showed up at my door was 72 hours. And that's the truth. And I love Timu. I love working with them because they are truly an up like a high class company. Because their prices are low, people think they're like wishy-washy or whatever. They are not. They are amazing. They stand by their products. Like I said, they have a 90-day return policy. And if something's not right, they make it right with their products. So if I'm raging about it, you will love them just as much. And I'm, I'm not just saying that because I'm collaborating with them. I'm saying it because I truly believe that. That's one thing that you will find out about me on my channel is if it's a bad product, I'm going to give it a honest review the person that i'm working with may not like what i say but it's always going to be an honest review and timu honestly has amazing quality products for very low prices so i've went on and on enough i'm going to hush now and tell you that i will see you next tuesday night at eight o'clock on my channel that's eastern standard time as always thank you for coming thank you for watching be blessed. Bye now.